Hi there, my name is Selena Phillips and I'm a faculty member at Chico State. And the Chico State Sheep Unit uses a uh, web-based application called Herd Boss to manage their flock. And so what I'd like to do is kind of walk you through how we utilize Herd Boss. And uh, when you first open up the Herd Boss page, it's going to uh, show you their general information. And right now it's free, but they are going to start charging a subscription. But I think the subscription is super reasonable. We will continue to, to work with this system because I really like the, the interface, the usability about it. And I work with a lot of students and we can all have it on our mobile devices and can um, post information to this and have our information on a number of devices that's easily accessible for everybody. And so when you initially log in to your account, you're gonna see your herd. And this is initially, if you don't have any sheep in here, it's gonna be blank, but it's super easy to just start adding sheep. And that is where you just go in and add a sheep and enter the tag number and all of that information. It's fairly self-explanatory. But as I've worked with this software, a couple of the things that I've really needed to understand that make that help in how you put data in and how you're managing it is to realize that with Herd Boss, the theory behind it is that it has two, two herds that you are working with, okay? You have my herd and the other herd. And so the my herd is your current inventory that are animals that you have on your property that you are managing right now the other herd is anything that is a reference animal uh, may have died on uh, and, and you had to transfer it and and it goes into a different spot or sold and so you have these two um, different herds that you're dealing with and so everything that is alive and being managed is in my herd Anything that maybe is a sire or something like that that you don't own or an animal that has died or been sold is in your other herd. And so when you go to Herd Boss, you see my herd and the other herd. And so this is where we have reference sires, animals we've sold, all of that, those kinds of um, sheep in our flock. And my herd is our current um, inventory that we have. And you see that we have um, two pages of inventory and that's what's on our flock and how we manage it. Now, the other thing to understand is that all of the data and inputs are customizable. When you're working in Herd Boss, I'm gonna save reports for an, another video, but you can add what breeds that you're working with. Our flock, we have either weather sheep or south downs. And we do have a handful that are South Down Weather Sheep Crosses. So those are the three breeds that we work with. Breeders are anyone that you have genetics from. Um, like when I put in pedigrees of our South Downs, I put in who the breeder was. So we have an easy reference of uh, where our genetics for the various flocks are coming from. What I really like about Herd Boss is it allows you to do a buyer's list and you can add phone numbers and emails and have a mailing list right here that you can export to Excel um, if you export your data so that you can send out information um, and potentially flyers and other things that you need. And you can keep track of your buyers all in the same software as well. Medicines, we put in all of our medicines that we possibly use. And, um, and so that way when we go to treat an animal, it's a drop down menu of what we did. Makes it very handy. Labels are a feature that I'm gonna save for another video as well. You can actually create and assign labels to different sheep um, to allow you to help keep track of various groups you may have on your farm at one time. One thing I really like about Herd Boss is that it does allow for DNA. I'd love to see where we could um, increase the various types of DNA that we're, we're utilizing, but we've gone through and coded um, what most of our sheep are. I'll probably simplify this list at some point, but um, with the South Downs, we do um, the scrapey, the spider, and the um, ectodermal dysplasia, or the hairy lamb syndrome, 
but we are also starting to add in calipage gene testing and some other things so i've got to figure out how to manage that within here but we do have that feature to code it in here you can also do bulk uploads i don't know if anybody else is using electronic id systems and the um um, like we have a true test setup that we use and so we can download that scale information from our scale head and upload the weight history for example as a bulk file from our true test scale um, you can upload mating records um, herd notes anything like that the one thing we do recommend is that you use their template and I just clicked on the mating records template but just to show you a little bit it's going to pop up in numbers, but it'll pop up in whatever. Oh, come on. Let's see if that'll pop up. Yep. So it shows you which females, which and where they're, who they're owned by the sire, and all of that stuff. And you can, if you use that template, you can upload the mating records very easily. So um, that makes it pretty sweet that you can manage it that way. The other thing that is really nice about Herd Boss is that your data is your own. And so anytime you want the data, you just click download my data and it downloads it to multiple Excel files. And so like one of them would be buyers list um, so that you can have all of that information for your buyers. And so that's kind of the general rundown of Herd Boss and the data that you have in it. Um, if we take a look back in my herd and say we pull up a U, and let's pull up this U here, you can see that um, she's a U that we um, got from uh, Mickelson Club Lambs over in Sonoma County. She's in our mature flock. That's the label she's under right now. Um, we bred her to Rack City, and um, which I believe she did not settle to AI. But we also have a list of all medications, and you'll notice that we put foot bath in the medicine history because we foot bath our sheep pretty regularly, kind of as a general health check, especially as a university. Um, it's a great way to teach students how to handle sheep, and it's not stress, not very stressful on the sheep at all. And so pre-lambing vaccinations, deworming, any of those things we have. Um, you can add, if you are flushing some sheep, you can add that in here. You have direct links to all this offspring that sheep has had. You have access to any notes that you put in there. Um, and you have access to the mating histories and those types of things um, as you go through this. And so it gives you quite a bit of information. And this is all information that you can add as you go in. For example, if we look at some of our um, current lamb crop that were born this fall, this is a, um, one of our accent lambs that our ram got out with our Southdown ewes. And so it's a crossbred ram lamb that's soon to be a weather. And you can actually enter the neutered date so that you know when you castrated him. And it will automatically update the gender to weather um, in the list. Right now we've got this one as a nursing lamb. We have the EID tag on there. And we have um, the, the birth date and all of that. And the general information that we have on these lambs. And not a lot of history yet because we've just got the birth weights where you're getting weights on them. But you can kind of see what kind of information you get off, the, off your animals and can have in here. And so that's kind of an overview of how Herd Boss works. And so the next video we'll do is going to talk about labels and then we'll talk about reporting. Thank you.